need me. Welcome to another Feed Me More Nutrition Weekend Live, Saturday Live. I appreciate all of you joining me over Instagram, TikTok. Guys, the big guy Ryback22 on those, Ryback TV here on YouTube, Ryback Rules on Twitch. And then we're also streaming live on Facebook as well. Guys, we got a cool, huge weekend promotion. I'm giving you guys a $70 value. We're going to get that out of the way up front. After the video is up, it'll be in the description of the comments over on YouTube on Ryback TV as well. Uh, I'll get that posted on the on the Instagram social media uh, as well. Uh, and we're promoting it on all the social media channels here. Uh, the deal ends midnight Pacific uh, tomorrow on Sunday, midnight Pacific. Guys, I'm giving you guys a free Feed Me More Nutrition gym bag, workout gloves, and workout straps. The Feed Me More Nutrition lifting straps, guys. A $70 value, yours free, with discount code weekend gift, weekend gift with all purchases $75 and up on feedmemore.com. So all you got to do, spend $75 or more on the website on Feed Me More Nutrition. Add that stack. It's under weight belts and apparel. Click on weight belts and apparel. Add that to your cart. Use discount code weekend gift. That $70 value is taken off completely, guys. Huge, huge deal this weekend. Mega deal over on feedmemore.com for Feed Me More Nutrition. So check that out. I'll make sure I get that all taken care of in the comments. Uh, and then we'll do some uh, Q&A. The Super Chat's always greatly appreciated, guys. Thank you for the badges on IG as well. I love you guys and greatly, greatly super appreciated. Yes, we do have a new, please, please share. We do have a new poll going on on Twitter, guys. This is, this is it. This is the one, the fourth one on this guys nothing to do with any of this that poll though this this is we're following all the twitter policies on that so that when that poll is done i could take that piece of paper print that poll out and i could hand it to any promotion to say see this is here this is where this is where the people want to see the big guy guys it's official so don't vote retire on it don't retweet it if you if you don't want bad people to see it let's just have the good people see it the good ones the good voters let's get them out to the polls guys Get those numbers up. We had over 28,000 votes, our best turnout uh, to the polls on the last one. Um, I don't know if this one's going to beat it or not. I don't know. I don't know. But I all I can know is I need the good people. I need the good people in my corner, guys. I need the good people. Right? Okay. I'm doing a great weekend. I just got back from Dodge. I'm dealing with a little bit of uh, stuff with the AC on Dodge. Uh, with the evaporator cord and multiple dealerships telling me different things. So I'm awaiting a call. Uh, I, I pulled a Karen in a nice way, though, a nice Karen, a Jeffrey, if you will. I have the supervisor calling me Monday from the corporate office at Dodge uh, because there's a, a big issue with their challengers. They know they have a major evaporator cord leak, and I know this because both Dodge dealerships told me I got a buddy that works for one of them. And the, they have they will not issue a recall on it, even though almost every challenger has this issue. Uh, so, but anyways, they're gonna it, it's getting resolved. And uh, I'm waiting. I even dodge on social media trying to get a hold of them. But uh, we got a call on Monday for that, so I had to go down there and talk to, to somebody down there at the Dodge dealership today, and uh, leaving the vehicle there, and uh, we're gonna get everything situated. So. What's going on? Hope you're all having a great weekend. Appreciate all the love and support, guys. I love my theme music, too. I think it's badass. I think it's it, a it, it, fantastic job on that song. I definitely think me and Brock, that was always a goal uh, to have that match. Whether it happens or not, I don't know. 
but I don't get to, that's something I, things like that that are out of my control. I've learned not to, to put as much stock into uh, on things. I like having control over, over a lot of my goals and things through my hard work and efforts. And that's paid off uh, huge for me. Uh, how can you increase your VO2 to max? Go vegan, increase uh, your consumption of beetroots. I would uh, do a combination of uh, organic red and golden beetroots. I would throw the double combo in there. And uh, and there's stories of back in the day from the Roman Empire and things where there were beets hanging on the, they would grow the beets and they were, it was a superfood um, because of its properties of, of boosting uh, endurance and, and sexual performance as well uh, with people. But I would, I would do, because it increases blood flow and nitric oxide uh, tremendously with that. So uh, also our pump plex city, I don't, I have it back there. Actually, I didn't, I got some of my supplements over here. Uh, if we talk about them, but the pump plex city has 250 milligrams of beetroot. Uh, and I, we have a blog up on feedmemore.com, all free blog content, original content and content from myself as well. All original on that. And we had some earlier pieces that were not original from the, from the website. Uh, but ever, as the last year, eight months, everything's been original content. So we got a lot of really cool pieces uh, on there for free. Our blog, I know the one on why uh, vegan protein is superior uh, to, to whey protein is doing very well. Uh, we're getting a lot of traffic on that blog as well. So thank you guys, those of you that have taken the time uh, to check that out. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Don't, I don't blame them. Ryback, you're the man. Thank you, Lord of Darkness, Portugal. Good to see all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone, Instagram, TikTok. TikTok is killing it right now. we got over 700 people live on TikTok. Instagram, not so much, only 107, but that's par for the course, even though I got double the following on there. But it is actually, it's not double the following anymore. We're about, we're at 923,000 on TikTok. Uh, Instagram's at almost 1.6 million, uh, almost double, not quite. Um, but the, the, the lives never do as well on IG. Zachary, thank you for voting, my friend. A vote is a vote is a vote is a vote. Take it easy, Chris. Thank you for stopping by. I have not heard of that that productions. No, I'm actually doing my fast today, this week. I uh, I, I might try to go into part of tomorrow too. I'm going to wait and see. Uh, I've been taking the too sweet uh, insulin uh, optimizer glucose support that we're going to be releasing. I made that announcement. Too sweet. And uh, we got that filed, uh, getting that trademarked in the dietary supplements industry, which it wouldn't be infringing on anybody else's trademark of that uh, for like merchandising. We don't do that. It's just it's I've done that with my supplements to protect the names uh, as everything gets bigger. And it's actually come in handy as we've had other companies try to rip off uh, names. And uh, so I take every I spend the money. Uh, I go the, I do everything uh, by the books uh, as a big business uh, because I'm anticipating. Uh, this to just continue to grow and the bigger it gets, the more people are going to try to do that. So, but the too sweet, and it is a very fitting name uh, with that, with the glucose uh, support on that glucose support. I think you guys are really going to like that. My body weight is down. I'm losing, I've lost probably eight pounds since starting it uh, because my metabolism is increased even further. Uh, the stuff is badass, and I'm really pumped to get that out. We're going to get the product page done. Uh, is my joint formula safe to take with Humera? I don't know what that is. Is that an insulin sort of thing? I feel like I've heard of that name. Uh, but the joint support, I would everything. I would check on this. I would I would pull up the label on the website and show it to your 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 uh, physician. But all the ingredients in the cissus, uh, super cissus. Uh, Cetyl muriel stoliate. It's hard to pronounce. Cetyl muriel stoliate. CM8. This is a short version for it. Turmeric powder, uh, naranjan, and black uh, pepper extract on that. So I don't think, you know, you don't trust me on that, though. You got to always ask your physician for anything 
uh, and they'll be able to tell you if there's anything that would uh, possibly could interact with, with your medication. It's oh, it's for arthritis. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Then you know, the, I know that formula is very, very good. It's helped me tremendously uh, with my arthritis in my right shoulder. I have no cartilage left in it, and I don't have any arthritic symptoms. So I've uh, been blessed on that end. But I, I take that stuff. I take the maximum dosage on that daily. Would I add a uh, cereal to protein isolate? Would it, essentially, I think, so the question is adding protein powder to your cereal. Um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that, increasing uh, your protein consumption through that. I used to do weird stuff like that, uh, and I say weird just because, like, you know, I, then eventually I used to do it to my oatmeal all the time. I would put peanut butter and protein powder uh, and mix it all together and use a little more water and get it a really good consistency. And then with the peanut butter, I'd let it sit for a bit and it would harden up on top. It was like kind of like, it was a real treat. The, uh, I haven't done that in forever. I should do that again. It's been a bit, but, uh, I would just say if you're going to have cereal, make sure you're consuming a, a, a cereal that's not chocked full of a ton of sugars, which the majority of them are. So Thank you. Thank you. All the great rye backers out there. All the rye backers. The rye back army is cool too, but I've always liked the name rye backers because it's like the Packers, but it's the rye backers. Uh, Shell shock. No, you don't have Joseph. The timing on all that is it's dependent on some people could take supplements and they don't get any like stomach issues. Some people take supplements on an empty stomach and it can disrupt their stomach. I've not really heard too much of that, the supplements with ours, but uh, it's all personal preference on that. And the key, the key is on that is, is to stay consistent and take it consistently and with the, with the diet and, and build up a good, good, good amount of time of using it uh, on a consistent diet and workout routine. And you're really, really going to maximize the results. And we said we get messages, people, there's some people to lose 10 to 12 pounds their first week on shell shock because they're, they're, they're kicking ass. Like that's absolutely a ridiculous amount to lose, but it, it's happening. So, you know, but if you get it and people take it and then you're like, well, they're like, well, I'm going to start drinking a bunch of alcohol and eating even more fast food. And, and then, you know, you're not going to lose any weight. They're like, oh, the product sucks, but you haven't made any changes either, you know? Or you stay the same when you actually would have probably put on some fat. You know, that that's a product working too. You're more than welcome to do that. But just don't think, you know, if you take it and don't put in the effort and don't get a six pack, you know, that, you know, you got to, you got to, there's multiple things that go into all this. Does coughing from smoking count as a, an ab workout? Well, technically, I mean, you're, yeah, you're, you're contracting your core, but uh, I, I would, I would say that uh, no matter how much you cough, if you try to do an ab routine like ab ripper x i don't think it's going to help too much i'm not going to be meeting at the camden park camden park amusement park yeah man i, I cook with mushrooms all the time i love i love mushrooms we're actually going to be um going to have another company we're going to be doing some stuff with amazon uh for the shell shock extreme fat burner and the big guy uh, testosterone booster. These are our two, two best sellers. And, uh, we're going to be really, really going, focusing on Amazon. Now that I got the website really, really firing, which was the goal. Uh, we're really going to look forward this, this year to increasing sales. I would, I would like to have the number one bestseller on Amazon for the shell shock and then the test booster because they are far and away the best products. There's nothing that even comes close, but obviously Amazon and marketing on there is very, very important in advertising. So I'm going to be working most likely with a company that's going to help get me to the number one product. Uh, and which is going to, it's going to be a really cool thing. Uh, if we're able to pull that off. Brazil. Hello. Hello. How do you earn money? So I have a business called feed me more nutrition, which you see in the back feed me more.com. And it allows me to actually make more money than in professional wrestling. Uh, we started with three supplements. And I've been making my own supplements since I was in my 20s. It was something I was very passionate about and always have been uh, and truly love. I don't like 
uh, a lot of what's going on in the supplement industry. Uh, and in my time in WWE, I chose to ride alone and listen to audiobooks and learn and get an education, one on the stock market and, and two on business. And, and then once I enough time had went by and I started getting comfortable, I realized uh, through another book, I, I didn't know what I wanted to do for business yet, even though it was right in front of me. I had all my supplements. I have all my notes on it. I just never, it didn't, it didn't hit. And then I, I don't know, can't remember exactly. There was a book. Oh, it was uh, the 50th law. And uh, by Robert Greene, uh, talking about um, about business and what you're truly passionate about. And I don't remember the exact thing, but it, it, I asked myself, well, what am I passionate about? And obviously wrestling was one of them. But I go, supplements, investing in my body, my mindset. And so that's where I chose to start Feed Me More Nutrition. And in that, I'm not just a supplement business. I am a self-empowerment business. I'm selling people the hashtag hungry mindset. That's why and it's trademarked and we're with everything. And it, it's the just do it of my feed me more, feed me more nutrition, hungry. <clears throat> because that mindset has allowed me to overcome uh, adversity time and time again in my life uh, and, and invest in myself and in, in, in my, my health, physical, mental, spiritual, and just being the best version of me uh, in every way possible. And, and that is an extension of, the supplement line is an extension of that mindset and, and having the best supplements, I believe, far and away as our costs are three to five times higher than the majority of companies uh, and using no artificial sweeteners or colors uh, and being vegan friendly and things of that nature and constantly evolving and improving, saying, hey, look, I don't know everything, but I do know quite a bit and I know how to make, I know things that have worked for me at a very high level and I think they will work for a lot of other people as well. Um, so to answer your question, how do I make money is, uh, you build a website, you, you build a brand, invest a lot of money into that, right? Uh, and then you grow it. And, and now it, it's sales and marketing and getting people to believe uh, in, in me and my message and with my supplements. Even if you don't like me, you can you, you could still like the supplements. Uh, and, and we've seen that. I've seen that with people and whatnot. So how do I make money is that? And I got my phone here and we got everything and I got my store, my Shopify store. Uh, and people buy my supplements. I make money 24 hours a day. Um, thousands and thousands of dollars come in on this stuff. Uh, and it's truly, I have to work very hard on it. I have to hustle. I have to, I, I have to let people know I exist. Uh, it's not easy through some of the social media things with what's going on I've talked about. But I've learned sales and marketing, email marketing, text marketing, uh, online sale marketing, uh, Google social media, things of that nature with a marketing company. Uh, so that, that sales register goes off at all hours of the day. Um, and that's how I make my money. And then on top of that, I do things on YouTube and you know, YouTube is one of my sales funnels marketing and also a way for me to grow my brand, uh, and allow people to get to know me, but I make ad revenue also on YouTube, which is a really cool thing. I make thousands of dollars every month on YouTube. Um, just doing videos that doesn't count the supplement sales. So I, I think sometimes people don't, they, they, they go, oh my God, you really fell hard. You were on TV. Regardless of that, I chose to walk away from all of that. They don't see the big picture and why I did it. I, I needed to do it. If I didn't do it, I would have been forced to retire. I would have been done. I've got my health back with 19 stem cell procedures, but I built a brand and a thing that is going to make me millions and millions and millions of dollars well past the days of when I'm going to be able to physically not compete, even though I've been blessed to get that back and why I'm going to be able to go back because I want to go back because I never wanted to leave, right? So all this groundwork I've laid in people, I'm going to continue to do these videos when I go back to wrestling, by the way. Nothing's going to change on all that because that's part of being an entrepreneur. And I learned a lot through Gary Vaynerchuk. But sometimes kids, younger people, they're not taught in school. They think, they think, oh, my God, you have a cool job being on TV. They don't understand the power that there's actually way more money in this long term than anything else. In business, especially the supplement industry, it's just a massive, huge, I don't even know, the 60, 70, 80 billion dollar industry a year industry. You don't have to be the number one company to be. Uh, it's, but the cool thing is, throw all that away. I'm doing what I love. I'm happy. I like helping people. I like when everybody wins. So it's like, for me, it's a really cool experience and I get to interact with people. And I think it's gonna allow me to have a much better relationship with people that know me when I do go back to wrestling as well. So it's a lot of positives, a lot of positives on that. But that's how I make my money. 
on that, you know? And when I run promotions and do things and you see me hustling on social media, that hustling equates my hard work equates to more money. And I look at it as a way, the more money I make, first of all, we donate a dollar of every sale to feeding the, the homeless and those in need in Nevada. So I look at it as, as an obligation. It's my duty to get as many sales as possible because I'm feeding more people. One. And I attached that at a time when I needed to be keeping all my profits by going, nope. And that gave me a deeper purpose than just myself, because I think we all have an ego and want to, you know what I mean? So it's like, no, I'm actually doing a lot of good with my hard work on top of that as well. And I'm giving people the best supplements I truly believe on the planet and helping people solve their problems with my supplements. And I get that through the through the ratings and the feedback and a 73% retention customer return rate. I know we're doing the right thing. Right. So it's a really cool deal for me, man, with all this and growing this. And I think I th it's, 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 it's to sit back and, and to look at it. This is going to be the, the greatest five years, I think, of my life uh, in every way possible from mentally and physically healing myself uh, and even improving my outlook on things and learning the value of true happiness, uh, not needing to be on TV um, and, and not and realizing that being on TV is not happiness. And you'll hear that from the majority of people. I want to go back. I want to do great things. I have, you know, I want to do things, but I don't need to. I want to. And I think that's a very powerful, cool thing. Hello, hello. Edge is fantastic. I agree. get to some new comments here uh how quickly will you see results on the shell shock extreme fat burner again that's going to depend on how how physical much physical activity you're doing and if you if you keep your calories uh consistent or or cut down them slightly uh it's going to greatly enhance those results so if you do 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 that like i said we get people with emails to the to the to the thing and to the support saying they lose eight nine ten eleven twelve pounds in the first seven to ten days to me that's absolutely just insane and, and so cool to see now is that to say everyone's going to lose that amount no and it's going to depend on the dosage you take on that as well i would recommend taking the four capsules twice daily uh and you could even take four capsules four times daily, the max dosage. But I don't recommend you go up to that until you're really serious, hardcore, getting ready to put in the work on that. It, it, it's very safe and it's all natural ingredients. Uh, that dosage, though, with the ingredients and that we have the, the cayenne pepper, the, the, the cool cayenne with the ginger, uh, the acai berry, the, the apple cider vinegar the ginseng, a little bit of caffeine in there as well, with the green coffee being the matcha green tea. Those two right there, that's that's a super powerful ingredients and the dosages we're giving you. You're gonna you're gonna notice. You're not gonna take it and not notice. I would say within the first first two weeks, for sure, you're gonna definitely notice. Now again, if you're sitting there eating bags of Doritos and and, and your calories are going way over, you know, that's that's a different that's a different conversation. What's up, Emmanuel? I am cryback. Emmanuel, I'm in a really good mood today. Emmanuel, I'm going to post this. I want you to come into the chat with me. Let's have a cool conversation for people. I'm going to post it in the comments. Come on. There we go. Emmanuel, if you click on this link, I'll let you uh, come in. We'll have a, let's have a, let's talk, dude. I think it'd be fun. Yeah, we are still coming out with the, the flavors, Tony. There's a bunch going on, uh, and I've, I've got that stuff. It's all going on right now. We got hit with a ton of reorders at the same time as well, so I got to make sure I get reorders in for current products on that as well. And like I said, every time I come out with a new flavor, a new product, that's uh, it, it's essentially it's a huge chunk of cash, right? So I have to be very careful because I have other reorders. So, and I've done that, I've got gun happy, trigger happy in the past and released a bunch of things out and, and got a little ahead of myself where in business, it's not the best thing. You got to, you got to make sure you don't run out of inventory on your current items. If Emmanuel, Emmanuel, if you click on that link, I would like to have a conversation with you, Emmanuel. Oh, there he is. Emmanuel. What's going on, Emmanuel? 
Emmanuel chose not to have the conversation. Okay. Well, I hope you have a good weekend, Emmanuel, and uh, I appreciate you for swinging by still. Uh, how many uh, milligrams of beet juice? Uh, 250 to 300 milligrams uh, is the amount where you're going to get positive uh, results uh, on it. And uh, I would say if you're taking the pump like city uh, and you do one beetroot uh, a day, uh, you're going to feed me. Who's this? <laughs> you're going to get good results. One or two beetroots a day with the pump like city. You're welcome, man in the woods. I appreciate you uh, trying the products and please check back in here with me. Uh, and I'll do my best to help you on here uh, with your questions. I got a call Monday as well. Um, we're going to go ahead and block Emmanuel here. The uh, with uh, moving the show to station head, the Ryback show, where it's going to be on this format and communicating with people and talking uh, mindset and the, all the health, nutrition, supplementation, uh, as well as call ins with you guys uh, on the radio show. We're going to go live with another guest real quick. We're keeping these short, guys. Feed me hey. memes. How you doing, buddy? N nice, nice to meet you, right back. I'm a fan of yours. Thank you very much. Are you responsible for these chip memes floating around? Um, no. Where well, are you like, from? You, I'm from Jersey, but I'm not going to tell you which part. Or because okay. I was out there. I understand. I've been to Jersey many times. For like uh, live shows, yeah. The uh, wrestle there, we've wrestled TV there as well. But yeah, live shows, and uh, I did I did one show on an independent show many years ago, out in the middle of nowhere in like this like fairgrounds. Uh, it was actually a nice little like, but it, a huge massive storm hit, and uh, it, it it was like hailing and raining. It was a uh, it was a pretty hectic situation. Cody was on the show as well with me. For that Cody one, Rhodes. Cody Rhodes, yes, and uh, it was in a horse barn, um, part of the fairgrounds. It was pretty. It was one for the memory books, that's for sure. Okay, what's going on? Do you have a question for today? Yeah, like, uh, do you have like any any plans on being in on like rust being on like wrestling TV, like TNA, Impact, and all that stuff? That's what. I, so the goal is right now to get my shoulder, the the remaining scar tissue broken up in that, and then uh, and making a few phone calls. And uh, I have a fairly decent idea though of uh, what I want to do, and uh, I will have some phone calls and, and probably some meetings. We'll be, hopefully, we'll be cool. We'll be cool to see you on AEW because they need more big guys. On there. I think uh, I think it's going to be good regardless. Yeah, for, but yes, yeah. I. I think my goal right now is just get my health back and then get myself ready, and uh, which I'm physically in really good shape, conditioning in really good shape. Just make sure I'm in in the ring and in because I've been out for a couple years, which I'm not even afraid of because I've been out for a long time before and I came back even better. And I and I have no doubt that's going to happen this time. I just need to be, needed to be healthy and feel good, but uh, I think it's going to be a really really cool thing. Yeah, but that is the goal eventually. Yes. Yeah, like Rus like Rusev is one of the few big guys. I Mi Miro, Miro, him to Miro. We got to call him Miro. He doesn't like to be called the R word. Miro Rusev. He doesn't own the name like I do, so he, we got to call him by the Miro name now. Rusev is no no more. Like call the WWE guys in AEW by their WWE names. I I know, but that's the way that it is. Okay. But yeah, I look forward. To it. I, 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 me and Miro have always, uh, I've always greatly enjoyed our matchups together, and uh, I think we would even have better ones uh, in another environment. So, yeah. All right, buddy. Well, you have a good day. I appreciate you stopping by. God bless you and fuck Cody Rhodes. No, don't say that. Cody's the Cody's the smart buster. Say it again in their videos. Oh, okay, I, I'm not aware of any of that, so I'm glad you don't really mean that. Okay. All right, bud. All right.
Ryback, are you a virgin? God, I wish. That would have been... <laughs> You never know what you're going to get here on Ryback TV, ladies and gentlemen. We have another guest here. Tyler's uh, joining us. We're going to see what the Tyler has a question. If you guys do want to come in again, if it's health and fitness related, mindset, nutrition, supplementation, uh, or pro wrestling, I want to, I want to leave it open to everything. Tyler Kiker, is that correct? Yes, sir. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm well. Where? What part of the world are you in? I'm in Arizona. Ah, what what a uh, city? A uh, surprise. Surprise? Yeah, it's very, it's very, it's very small, very small town. What's the closest bigger city towards to to it? Uh, I would say Peoria or possibly Phoenix. Okay. Yeah. How how far away from Phoenix is that? Do you know? Like forty minutes. Oh, that's not bad. No, that's not. Okay, good deal. What's going on? Um, I have a question about nutrition. Okay. So I'm working towards bulking to build muscle now. And I've been doing it for a couple of weeks, but I'm kind of struggling at this point. So I don't know what to expect or what to do with calories. So maybe I can ask you since you are. How old are you? I am 19. I could tell by looking at your neck, you have a fast metabolism too, I bet, right? You're an ectomorph. Right. So you're going to have to really, so you have the, the, you have it great and you have it bad on different things. So you won. I've known, I've had friends that are of that similar body structure. Okay. Uh, what I tell people is, is I do think you need to try it and give it a fair shake. Uh, I'll try to help you here with that part. Um, mm -hmm. But you're going to, it's something that you got to be very consistent with over uh, quite a long period of time. Uh, and even then, and if you fall off, you're going to lose weight really quickly as well because your metabolism is so high. So it's, and this is why there's a lot of guys that ha are ectomorphs. They end up turning to steroids to try to put on weight, and it's the exact the worst thing you could ever do. Right. What I tell people is, is embrace your genetics and your body type, and work on being as physically fit and strong as you possibly can be with that. And, and in doing that, you can still put on some weight doing this bulking. But what you need to do is, you need to so the basal metabolic rate calculator online. You got to type in basal metabolic rate calculator. And you plug in all the information as out accurately as you can. It's going to tell you how many calories you need per day to maintain your current weight and be as honest as you can with your activity levels on that. Okay. Now, once you do that, you then have to start consuming over the, that amount of calories. Uh, and I would say being an ectomorph, start with at least 500 on that. So if you need 2,500 calories a day to maintain your weight, maybe you need to be doing 3,000 calories on top of that, and also uh, with your strength training, it does help to lower your reps. Uh, the four to six rep range I have found to be uh, ideal for putting on strength and size. And I've done that, and I did that at a very young age. Um, there's a great workout program out there called by AST, which was under the supplement companies. Uh, I became fascinated with it, with it at a young age. They got a workout program, though it's online. And I want you to look it up when we get done. It's called AST Max OT, Maximum Overload Training. And that is where I learned that at a very young age. And I probably had the best results of my life of putting on massive size, drug-free at a very young age, lifting in the four to six rep range. So I want you to look up that weight training program. And I want you to start trying to get 500 extra calories in a day. Uh, and you got to do this every day, man. That's the other key. Okay. You got it. You can't be, you got, you got to really, really be consistent with it. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 I understand. And then also with your cardio and stuff, having that, and again, it depends on what you do. I don't know if you play sports or not. The more conditioning and cardio you do, the more calories you got to have in there, which that basal metabolic rate calculator will plug that in for you. If you give it that information. Okay. All right. Yes. All right, buddy. Well, you have a good one. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. You too. You're welcome, Tyler. Have a good day. You too.
Good deal. No, I, you don't eat McDonald's every day. That that stuff, man, that is not good for you. Every once in a while, cheat meal, cool. You know, live a little, but you don't you don't want to you don't want to consume that stuff regularly, guys. Okay. Uh, defense exam solution. How can you even take a decision of your uh, career just by a Twitter poll? Don't you think that is not good? Uh, absolutely. That would be horrible, a horrible decision for me if I truly was making Twitter polls um, for the outcome to affect my career on a suppressed account where the majority of my people, my own followers don't even see my post. I've explained that on other videos. It is simply a marketing tactic for Feed Me More Nutrition where I get a mass influx of engagement onto my account um, that I normally don't get because my account is suppressed uh, to a 0.5 to 1% impression rate on there. Uh, the last one did over half a million views on my page. So uh, our sales shoot up thousands of dollars doing these polls. I've, I've, I've admitted, I've, I've talked about this from the very beginning. That's why I did the first one. You guys don't think, if you listen to me, I'm not knowledgeable enough to know how social media works, that if I put retire on a poll, on my Twitter account of all places, that I'm not going to get that to be the majority, guys? Come on. But as you see, I will play that crowd. I will melt them for everything they're, they're worth. I will let them think on there they're getting the best of me. That poll has zero to do with my career, guys, and everything to do with marketing and Feed Me More Nutrition. If you have a business, please, please take notes. And again, not everyone could do that because if you don't have, you know, obviously being known and things help with that nature, but it's simply a tool to drive traffic to the page. I got the promotion pasted up there, as I always do, and we get people that will click on my bio on the, on the Twitter page as well. And we get those reports in and I look at them every time the numbers just go up and up and up and up and up. Yeah. Southern see that's again. And so uh, Twitter, yeah, see, I've never seen your Twitter stuff in my feed. I have to search for you and dive through your profile to see your stuff. And that's what's happening. And there's, so the people, and this is a, again, this is what WWE, when I did not sign over my social media in 2016, they work with Twitter and these social media companies very closely. And if you go look, you can't look at, so I have 1.4, almost 1.5 million. I've had the same number for five years. It's not gone up. All my other social medias have gone up. I've got a million followers almost on TikTok in 15 months. So, and if you go look, I got videos, millions of views, hundreds of thousands of views. You don't just have great engagement at places, right? And then on one, oh, you have no engagement. You have to look at it and go, wait, now, it would be one thing if you didn't have a following and had no engagement, right? But I got the actual statistics and the analytics showing you can look and post that work well on all other platforms, get nothing on Twitter. Not one thing I post outside of those Twitter polls will take off usually and fall into the algorithm for me and let people see. Because what happens is they got my impression rate so low that the, the tweets, if they even do take off, they don't take off at a level high enough to fall into the algorithm. And that's being done to make the perception look like Ryback is irrelevant. Nobody likes Ryback when that's not the case because it's not the case everywhere else and on other platforms and different things. Or you'll see that these things take off and then all of a sudden, <clears throat> how do I go from getting you know millions and hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube to where I get a hundred people are notified when I do a live. Very odd things happen that are in, and it's being, we know what's going on and I don't stop if you, I hustle even harder on it, right? But I've learned marketing, a lot of great things. We're gonna get it resolved. It's gonna be a beautiful thing when it is, but it is, it's unfortunate that that's going on. Twitter's by far the worst of all of them because that's where my voice is actually the loudest in that format and they know that. And that's why they wanted me to hand over all my social media in 2016. They wanted they wanted me to hand over everything I owned, just no questions asked. And when I did not comply, because I, I don't have to comply because I own everything, they then shut me down my reach on that. But as you can see, they can never fully shut me down, right? So it's going to be, and I'm not going to stop. I'm not going away. It doesn't affect me when people, that negative portion of the toxic community, I've literally heard it all, guys. I am immune to this stuff. I use that energy for my advantage. I purposely attract their energy to then use it to make me money in a very positive way and get my products in front of good people. And it works every time. So.
Uh, that match where I wrestled against Cage, I was really, really hurt. That was at the peak of my um, injuries, uh, and I knew I was going to have to wrap it up pretty soon. I worked very hard, though, to be in shape. I, I did 250 burpees uh, the week on in one day, my my final day of conditioning going into that match, I did like 250 burpees or 200 in like 30 minutes. It was like it took me a while, but it was I, I always could do my hundred in under 10 minutes, usually around nine when I'm in peak shape on that. Uh, but I remember that one. I wanted to make sure I was in like just impeccable shape conditioning wise, even though my body physically was just fucking a wreck. But, uh, you know, he didn't that match was all on the fly almost. Uh, we did, and I shouldn't say all that. We did, we did get some stuff together on that actually. Um, but he got there very last. He got his flight got delayed, uh, and we had we had I think only like fifteen minutes to to even talk before we went out there. So if we would have had time, that match would have been longer, and I think you would have seen uh, uh, probably you would have seen a lot more. But I, I was I was happy with that performance for being in the in the, in the, the health I was being poor. I was upset that I wasn't nearly as jacked as I normally in my body. I couldn't lift. I was lifting very light. I mean, it was I was I was in really really bad shape. But that was I mean fun match. We fun. Yeah, I know people recognize me. I go to the park with my dogs, and people will scream Ryback. And it's, it, I think it, it, it has its its positives and negatives. Uh, I do think it's a great thing. I, I think I look exactly as I've looked. Uh, I don't think I've aged, uh, or if I have, it's been very minimal. Where people, I'm the Ryback people remember, and I think that when I go out and do, it is a good feeling though that people still remember you. The one bad thing is again, I try to avoid it. it I don't think people understand being in my shoes. Uh, it's not easy constantly hearing when are you going back? What happened? Why did you leave? There's a lot of people that aren't on social media that have no clue. I just disappeared. Right. So um, it, it's not always having that conversation. It's not a conversation I, I like to have. Uh, we're like, oh, I was really hurt. I wasn't happy. I've had 19 stem cell procedures because it's just, it's talk, but, but people don't know. That's why I constantly post it on these and talk about it on here and put it out there on select things because I do want people to know the truth. Because there's been a lot of, of lies and false information, uh, unfortunately, with the toxic portion of the wrestling community and from WWE. Because I walked out with everything, I've won everything. Why would they, they're not happy about it? It's it, I get it. it, it it's I also have to do my best to, for people to know the truth. Um, and because everything I've said has been 100% accurate and correct, and there's nothing you'll find where it's not been. So, but it, it's tough, you know. Or kids see me, what right back? Why aren't you wrestling anymore? Like. What do you say, right? So I try to avoid it as much as possible, but it does happen. And it's not like a bad thing it happens. It's just you got to put yourself in my shoes. It's not a conversation I like, you know. And because needing a five disc fusion and shoulder replacement, guys, it sucks. And then not needing and being able to, it's, it's taken a lot of work and effort. And, you know, I think too, the tough on social media, and I've done, I've, my, I'm, I laugh when people like will say, "Oh, you're a snowflake and you have thin skin." It's the complete opposite. I'm literally immune to all of it. I just don't like people with a negative mindset that try to spread hate, and I try to help them as well. Block them, and, and plus on the Twitter polls, I'll block almost everybody with that because they tell more people and it gets more engagement, and it takes away that negative voice for a future date. Anyways, I look at it, <clears throat> but it's. Uh, it, it, it's the one thing, you know, when you're, when you're out and I, and you can't, you're not ready to come back yet. It's not like I could just go, oh, I'll go prove them wrong. I got to wait to get to that point where I know physically, okay, now I'm ready to go out and do my thing. And in that time, then I'll prove them wrong through my efforts of just being happy and hardworking as I've always have on that. But it, it you know, especially years ago when I was, was, didn't know what the timeline was or if it was ever going to happen, even though I remained optimistic, you know, Hell, if you would have told me two years ago or three years ago that you know I had three years to go still, I would have been like, oh, my God. I don't know, but I just go one day at a time. And that's been allowed me to be successful in a lot of things by doing the baby steps and just make progress one day at a time. That hungry mindset, that that's what I've done. I've literally taken that. I just plug it into whatever's going into my life, and I go, okay, I've done it for these situations. Let's adapt it. Let's evolve it. Let's adjust it for this situation. 
And at the end of the day, I go, well, what do I need to do? One, I need to keep growing my business, keep making money on that, keep helping people because the more money that makes, the more the happier and successful I am, more options I have, right? And then two, my health. I got to get my health back because without my health, I can't go back, right? So it's like, okay, well, how do I get my health back? Well, I got to do this, this, and this. And I so that's what I do. And I have my goals on these things. And I've had to scrap other goals for the time being that are not as important because I can't neglect the first two. Those are the two most important. That's what you see me focusing on and succeeding at. And, and it, it's been a beautiful thing. And eventually I'll have, once the scar tissue has gone on the shoulder, it'll be like, okay, maintenance, right? But it's not going to be the amount of time and energy on that. The more money this makes, the more people I keep hiring to help outsource things. So my less time, right? And then I could just focus on eventually wrestling and overseeing the business and looking at reports at the end of the day. Okay, what is, what's the monthly numbers? What's going on? Overseeing things, phone calls, meetings here and there. Whereas right now, I'm, yeah, I'm super engaged on everything. And I got the fulfillment center. I got the customer support. I'm doing calls still and things, but I'm hustling. I'm the head guy in charge of sales outside of my marketing team that's doing their thing, but I'm creative. I'm coming up with the content every month. It's a lot, right? And that's allowed me to be profitable by by having, by having taking on that stuff as well. Whereas if I would have outsourced that, my profits would have been nowhere near where they are. And I don't feel that anyone has a gauge on this as, as well as I do right now and what I'm doing, because there's not a lot of supplement companies doing what I'm doing. So... But it, I'll tell you, it beats what I was doing, the fulfillment and the customer service. And, and I had a little help on that, but it was, I was, I was running red for a while. So I'm in a good spot now with, with where everything's at. Yeah. AEW's roster is very, 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 uh, I really dig everything going on with them. I think they're, uh, I really, really happy for their growth. And I, I, I watch that show uh, and it just gives me a different energy than all other wrestling. And that's nothing against any other wrestling or any other wrestlers. I, I just, I, I put out a tweet the other day. Um, I feel like I'm watching a very new hungry company that wants to be the best. And um, as individual as wrestling could be, it is a team environment as well. And uh, I don't know, it just feels like everyone's more on the same page there. Um, and that, that kind of comes from the top down on, on the environment that you breed as an owner. And from everyone I've talked to and, and know there, it's the same phone call and discussion or same conversation uh, of positivity. Not to say that there's not negativity or anything of that nature because it's pro wrestling. That's always going to exist. I think that there, it, it, from what I've heard and been told, it's, it's a much better environment though than other places. I think Wade would, Wade is, we and Wade have had phone calls. You know, when I'm healthy and ready, I think there'll be, uh, all, there'll probably be several phone calls that, that take place or meetings. We'll see. Yeah, I, I saw that New Jack passed away. I, and I never uh, knew uh, or met him. I'm very unfortunate. I'm very sorry. Uh, to hear of his passing and, and, and nothing but positive energy to his family and, and friends. Obviously, you see and known and, and, re and respected by a lot of people in the wrestling industry that knew him. So I never I never got to meet him. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap up uh, for the day. I got to I got to get some stuff done with this fast. It's little guy's birthday as well. He's already had a bunch of treats. I'm actually going to go buy him some more stuff. Uh, we bought him a bunch, gave him stuff early yesterday. I'll be posting with uh, the mother got some funny birthday pictures with him. He lets, he let, Sophie doesn't let my mom touch her with, with stuff. Uh, little guy likes to get dressed up for birthday parties. So you got some good photos coming on that. But um, the weekend promotion, guys, please check it out for Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com. Once again, the free uh, workout gloves, the lifting straps. There's two lifting straps. Uh, for the workout, for for deadlifting, and for uh, better grip on that, and the feed me more nutrition hungry gym bags, guys. I'm gonna have that in the description and the comments as well. A seventy dollar value is all you got to do is yours free. Spend seventy five dollars or more on feedmemore.com, 
add that stack under weight belts and apparel. That'll be in the description of the comments and use discount code weekend gift guys. And the $70 values is yours free uh, until Sunday, Sunday, uh, midnight Pacific tomorrow. Uh, that promotion will be going on. So uh, thank you very much, guys, as always. I hope you have a great weekend. Stay safe and stay hungry, my friends, and I'll see you next time. Feed me more.